Hello everyone. In this video, we'll explore the decorator pattern in the context of the Go programming language. The decorator pattern is a structural design pattern that allows you to dynamically add new behaviors or responsibilities to objects without modifying their code directly. It's a great way to achieve flexibility in your code while keeping it modular and maintainable. Let's start by taking a look at the code we have. In this example, We'll use the decorator pattern to create different variations of coffee with added ingredients like milk and caramel. We'll build upon a simple coffee object and progressively add decorators. First, we have the coffee interface which defines the methods cost and description. This is our component interface, representing the basic coffee object that we want to decorate. Next, we have the simple coffee struct that implements the coffee interface. This is our concrete component representing a basic cup of coffee. It provides the cost method, which returns the cost of the simple coffee, and the description method, which returns its description. Now let's move on to the decorators. We have two decorators, milk and caramel. Both of these decorators implement the coffee interface as well, which means they can be used in place of the original coffee component. The milk decorator wraps around another coffee object and adds the cost of milk to it. It does this by implementing the cost method and calling the wrapped object's cost method, then adding the cost of milk to it. Similarly, the description method is implemented to append milk to the description of the wrapped coffee. The caramel decorator follows the same pattern. It wraps around another coffee object and adds the cost of caramel to it. Again, the cost method is implemented to calculate the total cost, and the description method appends caramel to the description. In the main function, we create a simple coffee object and then demonstrate the decorator pattern by adding decorators to it. We start by decorating the simple coffee with milk. We create a coffee with milk object that wraps a simple coffee with a milk decorator. This allows us to add the cost of milk to the simple coffee's cost and include milk in the description. Next we decorate the simple coffee with caramel. We create a coffee with caramel object by wrapping the simple coffee with a caramel decorator. This adds the cost of caramel to the cost of the simple coffee and appends caramel to the description. Finally we demonstrate how to combine multiple decorators. We create a coffee with milk and caramel object that wraps a simple coffee with both a milk decorator and a caramel decorator. This results in a coffee with the combined cost and description of both milk and caramel. Let's run the program. Here we can see a simple coffee with milk costs 2.5. Coffee with caramel decorator costs 3. And with both milk and caramel, it costs 3.5. And that's how the decorator pattern works in Go. It allows us to dynamically enhance object behavior by wrapping them with decorators. This keeps our code flexible, modular, and open to extension without modification. Thank you for watching, and feel free to experiment with this code on your own.